Hey Rock Sliders, Robbie Denning here. Wanted to give you a quick overview of Stone Glacier's new skyscraper two-person tent. Uh, just came out this year. To my knowledge, it's the first tent that uh, Stone Glacier's released. Um, I'm reviewing it from the uh, background of a horse packer that still needs lightweight gear. I don't want to have to take more horses than I need. I need my packs to be able to, you know, my panniers to pack down. So, uh, and I also need a tent that I can take clear into the fourth season uh, conditions if I need need to, you know, snow, cold, wind, all that other stuff. Um, so, true to form, I got the tent and I didn't have time to set it up at home. Um, you know, I work 50, 60 hours a week sometimes and um, I trusted that it, it was going to be pretty intuitive and so I just threw it in the packs. I had a chance to go on this trip. I'm, I'm at about 9,000 feet right now in the buck country. Tucked back in the trees, so this review is going to be a little bit rough. we got some wind coming through here and you're not going to have the best lighting on the tent, but it'll give you a good idea of, of what the tent's all about. We have a more thorough review going on on the backpack forum on Rock Slide by Josh Boyd. He is a backpack hunter and he's going to be able to give it a, a, a more thorough review than I can from a backpack hunter standpoint. But I can just kind of show you the function of it, um, ease of setting up, and I've got three nights in it so far and you know I really like it. So first of all, it is compact. That's the, the tent bag right there. Now I've got the tent in three season mode right now. I don't have the, the, the fly and the vestibule on it. The fly and the vestibule are all, all one tarp. But I stuffed it in here in the tent bag and then I puffed it all up to take the space of, of what the tent would so it's not packed down at all to give you an idea of its size. And so this is my Stone Glacier Evo 3300 right here. And that's the spotting scope um, accessory bag on there and to give you an idea of the tent size it's about the size of that spotting scope bag it's going to be a little more diameter but not much i've got a swarovski ats 20 to 50 in there so you know it's roughly about as big as as what that accessory pack is going to be so if you're running this tent you could run it on the outside of your of your of your evo 3300 and you still have all your main compartment and you know i run a pretty small pack because i'm not a backpacker so you guys that are running the bigger versions we have plenty of room with that tent in there. Um, I'll go ahead and just kind of give you a walk around of the tent, uh, give you an idea of its size and uh, some of the features. The wind's pretty rough, so hopefully you can hear me. All right, so that's the tent in three season mode right there and what it's got is a web truss right here and true to form I had never set the tent up until I got up here and I just didn't have time and I was able to set it up in roughly 20 minutes the first time just reading the instructions um, the second time I set it up I, I did it in about five or ten minutes, but that web truss is what gives the tent, tent its strength. It's got a two-pole design, a pole from each corner coming up and over and crossing. But this web truss has this bow pole right in the middle here. And that, that provides a lot of strength there. It ties back into the tent. For you trekking pole users, you can... That's what that Velcro's for right there. It's got one on each side. You can unwrap that, wrap it around a trekking pole. You set your trekking pole at 42 inches. That would allow you to leave that bow pole home and add even more support to your tent if you're really gonna be in some heavy snow conditions or heavy wind. That'd you know, crank it right to the ground. Um, it's got these, these twist hooks that raise the tent up into the web truss. And once the web truss is on, the reason it took me 20 minutes to set up the first time is I didn't have the web truss set up. But once you do set it up, you leave it on. And it, it attaches down in here with those style clips. And very, very strong. I can just tell pushing on it. It's very strong. Now, I don't have the fly on it. I did the other night because uh, we had thunderstorms. But then the weather got hot, so I had to take it off. And uh, you can still see we're still getting thunderstorms. That's why I got all this wind right now. But to give you an idea about how big the vestibule was, I cooked under the vestibule the first morning because it was raining. And I just opened that door. 
the vestibule was big enough to cover that exact cook set right there. I had it set up just like that and I was able to cook right out the front door. The vestibule on this side is a mirror image of the other side and so you'd have equal space on both sides. I'll include a picture of the vestibule and the fly on the tent at the end of this video so you can see it and get a, a better idea of how big it is. But I would say it's very roomy. If two guys were running this tent, um, you'd have enough room on each side for guys to put their pack and their boots and everything. Going to the inside, color-coded strings for the doors. The blue is your outside door. The yellow is your bug mesh. And um, it's a very lightweight tent. You're, you'll see that these zippers are all lightweight and everything. Um, that's how they're keeping it down to four pounds. I can't comment on how durable it's going to be because that takes a couple of years. But as, as far as the function of the tent on the inside, it's got the dual entry, same door on that side, which is nice in the warm weather. I've been able to um, close both screens and get a nice breeze going through. Um, in inclement weather, you just tie that bug screen back and just use your storm flaps. Um, it's got um, mesh envelopes up here to hold your phone, your glasses, whatever. I believe this is probably for some sort of nest that you can hang in there. It's got these. Um, I didn't I, I didn't get that with my package, so I, I, I was just assuming that's what this is for. It also has a tub floor it, um, that's purchased separately, and I, I would imagine that's for very wet terrain. But it's a square layout. It's virtually square. It might, it might be a oblong rectangle just a little bit, but um, you can see I've got a little cot in there that takes up a little bit more room than what one guy would, but you, you could get two guys in there. Um, not two big guys, but two, two guys could get in there. You've got these, these envelopes here as well, so you know plenty of storage by the time you add that vestibule on there and everything. Um, you're not going to just be you know, sleeping on top of your gear. So anyways, that's what she looks like. Um, see it from from there about the only thing I don't like is the color I wish they'd have gone with more of like an earth tone like they do with their packs um, but it's about the worst thing I could say about it and I'm pretty happy with it so far if you want to follow the full review that, that Josh is doing, again, just go to the Rockslide Backpack Forum. It should be pinned at the top of the forum, depending on when you see this video. And you'll see Josh's uh, discussion on there. Probably some member uh, reviews will be posted on there as well. Um, should be plenty of information there to help you make a decision whether this tent should be on your gear list.